Robocop versus Iron Man. Five categories, one winner. The categories will decide who is the best human slash cyborg of all time. Round one, best name. Okay, first name, Iron Man. When I hear the word iron, I think cereal ingredients. When I hear the word Robocop, I shit my pants. The only time you can associate Robocop with cereal ingredients is riboflavin. Riboflavin's a pretty cool word. First round goes to Robocop. Round two, best catchphrase. Robocop utters the words, have a nice day, after he shoots you in the fucking brain. All right, hilarious. What does Iron Man say? What's his catchphrase? I am a futurist. What the fuck does that mean? It means that Robocop wins round two. That's what it means. Dicks. Round three, best costume. Ah, Robocop's shiny, clean, metallic armor. Looks like something built by Apple. And you see Iron Man, it looks like something built by Ferrari. Iron Man wins round three. Round four, best mode of transportation. Robocop, piece of shit cop car. Iron Man, fucking rocket boots. Iron Man wins round four. Round five, best villain. If you don't read the comics, then you probably don't know who Iron Man's true nemesis is. His name is the Mandarin. Make sure you try his chicken next time you go to Panda Express. On the other end, you got Ed 209, who in my opinion has reached Joker status as a villain. That means he's as popular or even more popular than his heroic counterpart. When Ed 209 malfunctions, everybody's fucked. Robocop gets round five. Final judgment. Okay, let's tally up the score. Robocop 3, Iron Man 2. Clearly, we can see that the winner is the Terminator. That's right. No matter how many times John Connor goes back and forth through time, Judgment Day still arrives. Come on, best name, the Terminator. Best costume, badass leather jacket. Best mode of transportation, time travel. I want to time travel. That's like the best power of all time. Best catchphrase, dude's got two of them. Hasta la vista, baby, and I'll be back. And last but not least, best villain. Come on, we all seen T2. And when the guy's not turning into liquid metal, he's a fucking cop. Yeah!